build yourself up for the days ahead because the days ahead are going to be darker there will be things far darker than this one if you studied the word of god you know that they're like this one is just a trial <laughs> so this is the time for you to rise up in faith and believe god for your family take over the well-being of your family if you're a believer when we talk about Jesus for a minute Talk about Jesus in the music Talk about Jesus, talk about Jesus He's a wonderful Savior When we talk about Jesus for a minute Good day and welcome to my channel I trust everybody is doing well by the grace of God And you are all flourishing by God's grace Today is 21st of March and I'm filming at 10.23 in the morning as you can see in the title you know what this video is going to be about i decided not to film any video concerning this whole issue for various reasons for most of them is that this is like something that's trending now and a lot of people are giving it attention and i didn't want to talk now in this season because it's the easiest way to become popular like if you want to become popular now just just say anything that's related to this and i don't think i need that type of attention right now i've not yet reached like that side yet however um on monday my spiritual father in his first broadcast on youtube and facebook said that this is a time that people that have um god has given the voice should speak and drive fear out when and ask the holy spirit that if he wants me to film a video he should speak to me and it should be very distinctive so that i know exactly what it is i'm coming to do here and i'm not coming to waste people's time here so days later after my morning prayer time i was here when he just said something it was just like a couple of lines and i decided to type them down with hopes of filming unfortunately right after typing them down i started charging my phone so that i could film and my charger was not working so my phone has even been off for about two days now I just got a charger from someone and um, filming so too much information but yes to why you are all here the first thing he told me was that there are 1500 plus people who i have influence over the fact that someone subscribes to like something or decides to like to put themselves under what you say it means you now have influence over them so he told me I have 1,500 people. So if all these 1,500 people have like the right mindset to have against this virus, then it's like going to eventually help everyone. So the first thing he told me was that sickness is the state of the mind. No one is truly sick until they've accepted they are sick in the mind. When you, you get sick in your body and you have the mindset that this sickness is not going to kill me, I cannot be sick. Like in your mind, your mind is just failing to accept that this like what you are seeing as reality you would come out of it that's how powerful the mind is so most of the time you see people that have gone through like very serious situations things that should um probably like make them end their life but they forge on because they have that mindset they have that mentality that this thing is not going to kill me so the first thing he said was that number one this is things like everybody's saying my spiritual father is saying this god bless him so much for the fear is taken out of everybody's hearts through the word of God. So the first thing is to protect the gateways to the mind. The entry to your mind and spirit. Mind and spirit are sometimes interchangeably used in the word of God. But in this context, take it as your mind. That's where you think, where all thinking happens, which is in the soul. The entry to the mind is what you see and hear. The mind doesn't just get up and just do things. When I see this, then the mind processes, oh precious, you are in your bedroom, you are looking at your phone, you are filming a video. So protect what it is that enters your mind and what you hear through your ears so that you don't even get worried in this season. You are not in control of what the mind does in the sense that once you feed your mind with this information it will make judgments based on that information you've given to it that's why they say that we are products of what you've been through we are products of what we perceived out of what you've been through so we are products of our perceptions about everything we've gone through and wherever we've been wherever we've passed and all of that a lot of people focus on what they hear but not necessarily ex like how they hear they focus oh i don't want to hear this i don't want to hear that but you see there are certain situations you cannot say you know here it's especially like something like this virus everybody is talking about it it's everywhere you go if you take your phone people are sending you messages people are asking you for advice every like everywhere you go it is there one thing you have to do is to protect exactly how you receive the information for example with regards to this virus 
I've made sure that every time I heard something about this virus, it was from anointed people. It was from born again children of God. It was from people with regenerated spirit. They, when they talk about anything, they talk about it from their level of understanding. And their level of understanding is higher than the worldly level of understanding. So all the information I've heard concerning this virus have just been from mentors, spiritual mentors, and from people around me that I know work with God. So then, based on how I've heard this information, it gives no room for fear to work in my body because they didn't say, it. they may say the reality of the issue, right? But then they are talking about it from a point of understanding that this is what's going on, but this is not what you should go through. So pay attention to how you hear things concerning this whole virus and like moving forward, pay attention to how you hear information, especially bad news. Pay attention. That's why when someone wants to relay bad news to somebody, most of the time they pass it through someone that um, they know you either respect someone that has some sort of influence over you so that that way you don't really take the impact of the information in a very very negative way god is my eternal witness that ever since this virus came about i hear it's been around for quite some time but ever since it came about i have personally not taken my phone to go and search you know my spiritual i'll be mentioning him a lot don't worry but my spiritual father said that you don't go to the devil to ask him how he manufactured the sickness when you are sick you don't go online and check online that's okay i have asthma how does asthma work it's like going to the one that created the sickness to ask him how how it's functioning and how it's going to kill you and believe it or not most of this social media was in charge of it and it has been very clear now in this season because you realize that they don't talk about anything positive concerning this they don't talk about the good things that have happened in relation to this they are just preaching the fear aspect and fear is a spirit of the devil i've been saying this time and time again even in the last video i was telling you that the devil is in charge of all the social media pages he's literally in charge of it i don't mind saying this that's the truth of the issue he's literally in charge there are people there but he's the one influencing them when somebody is sitting down i said this in the last video when someone is sitting down for example i'm sitting down it's the spirit that's inside me that's controlling me so if i'm in line with god then it's the spirit of god that's controlling me if i'm connected to the devil it's the devil too that's controlling me when you see the way they are parading all of this you know that it is something clearly coming from the pit of hell last week friday literally when i opened my eyes fear was tangible in the atmosphere you could literally try and touch it and maybe you would have touched it it was so sh like it was all in the atmosphere people were sending messages telling me not to go to all night asking what is happening if this the end of people are just crying like people are just panicking and it was because fear had entered their heart today it is much calmer now this is the, the friday afterwards and oh sorry this is saturday sorry this is saturday morning so it is much calmer now but Fear has become so tangible in the atmosphere. If you stay around a certain type of people, you'd realize they are all afraid. And I'll advise you one thing to do in this season. Don't stay around people who are afraid. Just don't stay around people who are afraid. Especially if you are a child of God. Even if you are not a child of God, it's not the safest of places to be. Well, with regards to the precautionary measures, he told me emphatically to not talk about the measures. Um, The only thing he asked me to say concerning the measures is that People should know the level of their faith. Believers in this season should know the level of their faith. And know where you are at in your work by reason of the amount of God's word which is stored in your heart. Not like the words you can quote, but the amount of revelation of God's word which is stored in your heart. Because that's just the level of your faith. So yes, that's simply like know the level of your faith. You have no right declaring by his stripes you are healed. I'm a child of God, nothing can happen to me, and all those other things. If prior to this, you were not consulting God when anything happens to you. If prior to this, let's say when you had just random headache, you go to the hospital and call your doctor and call a specialist and be taking all manner of drugs for just headache. This is not the time to be quoting these things. Follow those measures. It's not just because you are saying all these things and confessing the word that it would make whatever it is that's happening in the natural bow down to what you are saying. No. It is saying it from a point of revelation. Saying it from a point of knowing. Saying it from a point of understanding and revelation that truly, 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 this virus cannot touch you. If you are just saying this blah, 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 and you don't do all, the, all those measures, your matter is a different one. I'm not even supposed to talk about your matter. But even if maybe yesterday you were running to doctors and you've decided to put God first and you've taken him and you have an understanding of 
what it means to confess all those things and you believe that god is able to honor that feel free and do that and follow your conviction on whether to follow these precautionary measures or not don't follow the crowd and be found wanting do what you are supposed to do at the level of your faith and this is the time where we would see those that actually were building themselves up in the word of god and in the spirit and those that were not because in this moment those that were building themselves up in the way they are going to survive and rise above it because they know the principle that whatever it is that they believe would happen will happen i told you in the other video that we birth in the spirit realm and we see the manifestation of what we birth in the natural so those of you that have sown seeds in the spirit those of you that have spent time growing in the word of god growing in the spirit like doing all these things that would give your spirit man stamina they are the ones going to rise above this that doesn't mean the rest of you are condemned but it's just a wake-up call to you especially if you're a child of god but you are not reading the word you are not steady you are not growing in your work it's a wake-up call to you to rise up and grow in god because i wrote down here to the christians this is the time to rise up in faith if you have known me for a while you know that i stress on building yourself up for that day which is the dark day however this is not that day this is not the dark day this is not the actual end of the world this one is not of god this particular one is not of god maybe another one yes but this particular one is not of god god might have permitted it but he's not the one that orchestrated this one so but i i continued and said this is the beginning of such dark times ahead but this is such a time where those that have been built in the word would rescue others through faith this is a time to be a voice of hope and of healing this is the time to let us see the fruits of all your private encounters encounters aren't meant to be written and left there they are meant to build you and prepare you for others so this is the time where those that have built already in the spirit those that have built their spirit man to a, a a level would now help those that are not there this is the time where we are going to help and intercede for our families our friends the world at large um everyone that's infected with this um medical practice. like this is the time where we are supposed to those that build themselves up in faith this is the time where they are supposed to rise up and handle this situation this situation is for the believers i don't care that I means this video is for christians right so this video is just for people that work with god this is the time for those that have built themselves up to now to rise up and deliver the rest of them that are not yet it's probably on your level however i want to challenge you with something that happened to me this past week i've not had running water for one week now yesterday friday made it exactly one week that i've not had running water if i was relying only on what all these precautionary measures require of me that's washing your hands and running water continuously then i will be lost by this time do you understand because then this is what my hope is in and now I do not have it. So now I do not have hope. And for that reason, I thank God that I rely on his word. He has done so much in my life and my family for me to now begin to doubt him or to think he won't keep me. I have worked with him for some, just a short while. And in that time, he has proven to me that he's a faithful God. So if my hope was just on washing of hands and doing all these things, those things aren't bad. Please, do according to your conviction. Go ahead and do them. I'm not stopping you. Now that I'm saying, like, do them with the rap, but just do what it is you have to do by the level of your conviction and the level of your faith. But if my hope was just on that one, by this time I'll be dead. I will have it and you know i'll have it just because once the devil realized there's a loophole and now you are considering all the possibilities he has room to enter because now there's some doubt and some sort of unbelief and uncertainty inside there and those are the things that attract the devil right so in this time rise up grow in faith for the days ahead because the days ahead they are way darker than this one i believe this one is just uh, something to let us know how dark the days ahead are going to be right this just took some people by surprise not to say i was expecting this particular one but i i know that we are there for like very very last day so anything is possible when you wake up that's why it's good to stay connected with god however don't let me deviate build yourself up for the days ahead because the days ahead are going to be darker there will be things far darker than this one if you studied the word of god you know that they're like this one is just a trial <laughs> it's just one of the things you get me so this is the time for you to rise up in faith and believe god for your family take over the well-being of your family if you are a believer if you are a family of christians then it means and and you are all working in faith don't pray for yourselves don't even waste your time pray for the world pray for other people you can take a particular family maybe for my for example my family we are quite a number so if all of us have 
by reason of whatever we do privately built ourselves up to a level where we believe in god and are not really like focusing so much on this then i'll take one family then princess takes one family i be one family daddy one family mommy one family Henry one family everybody one family like a different family and just pray for them this is the time for us to rise up and pray it's a call to intercession prayer and sacrifice for others so thank you very much i pray this video bless you and lifted you up in faith and Yes, till the next time I post a video, please stay guarded in God's way and look only to God and what he's saying. God bless you and, and God be with you. I'm praying for every one of you. None of you have a reason to fail or to be afraid. I mean, if you followed all the videos for a while, I emphasize on getting into the word. So this is the time for you to get into the word. And yes, thank you. Bye.